Uh, networks date back uh, well over 100 years, uh, where we, we, we build out networks with, with heavy-duty switching and end-to-end and, -end and world global communications. Yet in the world of computers and computer sciences, it's a very young industry, really around 1940s, and you didn't have the merging of this until the 1980s. And NFV really kind of uh, takes it to the next step because we see what happened in data centers over the past 15 years with virtualization. And now that's happening with the network as well. And uh, here's where I see a lot of the friction happening around, around this space. So we want to take the best practices from we see in computer science and apply them to network and network topologies. Yeah, the three big challenges that we see with NFV is interoperability or the standards. The second one is around uh, taking a network approach and converting that to a DevOps computer science approach. And then the third one is around the complexity around management, which really is around orchestration. We've joined forces with, a, uh, with AT&T and China Mobile and Orange to develop what we call the well-enabled VNF, which is more of a standard around what those virtualized network functions look like and how they can take that and onboard it uh, all the way back from, from a business model point of view. So we take the technical definition and add into that what you need from a business point of view. That was a very much trial last fall uh, and, and with very successfully. Then now we're, we're now taking it to the next step and we have Vodafone and British Telecom and Telstra all also jumping in Verizon to give us further definition of what that well-enabled VNF or that VNF standard should look like. We also have several of our partners and competitors getting on board to standardize around the VNF. So while we may not see a standard coming forth around a management and network orchestrator, we do see a standard coming emerging from what those VNFs should look like. And then we can turn back to the industry and say, okay, all you manos, this is how you should onboard and here's how you should deploy. And then not only that, here's also the business definition. This stuff is very complex and we see that the management of this uh, is at, at several different layers. So not only you have to deal with it from a physical layer or from a functional layer or from a service layer, but you have to keep going up uh, around the operational support layer and the business support layer. All that around, the, it, it, it gets very complex at those layers, let alone to go vertical from a business layer all the way down to the FIM layer. So the orchestration or the management of it uh, is difficult and let alone there you have, again, lack of standards around the orchestration. And then uh, I think what we'll see eventually is um, the whole NFV or, uh, will, 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 will creep in under us. All of a sudden you, you'll naturally start deploying things in your network that are virtualized, whether you're doing routers, firewalls, or session border controllers or diameter agents. These things will just become a natural extension to say, well, we'll just that's virtualized, let's deploy virtualized. And, and, and that will, I see that about five years out where all of a sudden the whole network starts becoming virtualized over time. Mm -hmm.